Welcome to Getting Ready for 5th Grade Math Like a Boss. I'm Miss McCarthy. I am your host and I am your teacher to get you ready for 5th Grade Math. Now, in this video series, I have busted out the top 8 math skills that you need to know. Not everything, but the top 8 that you need to know in order to be successful in 5th Grade Math. You're pretty much going to go into this year being a boss at math if you know this stuff. So, um, without further ado, let's get to our boss notes and let me teach ya. B -b -b boss notes, everybody. All right, you're gonna record in the blanks with me if you are using the workbook. Now, to access the workbook, click the link. You can download it instantly and move along with the video. So, here we go. Boss notes, multiply the ones place of the bottom number times each digit in the top number starting from the right. This is the first part of the product. Okay. I know this is a little bit wordy right here, but that's okay because we're going to break it into action steps with numbers in just a little bit. Okay. Below the first part of the product, write a zero in the ones place to hold the place. You're going to hold it there. You'll see what I mean in a second. Step three, multiply the tens place of the bottom number times each digit in the top number starting from the right. And this is the second part of our product. All right, I gotta write step four on here. I ran out of room, so give me one second. All right, finally for step four, we are going to add the two products together to get your final product. So add the two products together to get your final product. All right, baby, to the learn it section, here we go. All right, people, we're here with number one. We're gonna put the boss notes into practice. So I've got 1,372 times 45. It's written horizontally, but we need to write it vertically, top and bottom. So 1,372 times 45. You line up your digits just like you've been doing this whole time. All right, so now we're going to take our ones place of, this, of the bottom number and multiply it by all the digits on top, starting at the right. So 5 times 2, 5 times 7, 5 times 3, and 5 times 1. Let's do that. 5 times 2 is 10, which is a two-digit number, so I'm going to put my 1 there, bring the 0 down. 5 times 7 is 35, plus 1 is 36. 36. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 3 is 18. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 1 is 6,860. All right, I'm going to put my zero in the second part of my product. This is my first part. This is my second part. And at the end, I'm going to add them both together. Zero to hold the place. And I cross out everything that I regrouped or erase it, whatever works best for you. Um, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and erase it. It just makes it a little bit easier to see what's going on. So make sure you're doing this with a pencil. Way well, you can erase two. All right, and now I'm just going to cross out my five right there because I'm all done with that. Now I'm going to be working with the four. Four times two is eight. Four times seven is twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Four times three is twelve, and twelve plus two is fourteen. One, four. Four times one is four, plus one is five. Okay, so now I'm going to add these two products together to get my final total product. 0 plus 0 is 0. 8 plus 6 is 14. 8 and 8 is 16, plus 1 is 17. 4 and 6, that's an easy 10, plus 1 is 11. 
and six. 61,740 is your final product. Let's do number okay, two. Okay, example two, we've got 43,281 times 76. It was written horizontally. I went ahead and wrote it vertically. Let's go, start with the ones place. Six times one is six. Six times eight is 48. Bring my four over, drop my eight down. Six times two is 12. 12 plus 4 is 16. 6 times 3 is 18 plus 1 is 19. 6 times 4 is 24 plus 1 is 25. Do you see why you have to be so quick with your multiplication tables? Okay. All right, so that's the first part. I'm going to put a zero here. I'm going to cross out my 6 because I'm done with my first part of my product. I'm going to erase the numbers that I regrouped, the digits that I regrouped to add. All right, 7 times 1, 7. 7 times 8 is 56, 5 on top of the 2. Bring my 6 down. 7 times 2 is 14. 14 plus 5 is 19. Carry my 1. 7 times 3 is 21. Plus 1 is 22, so 22. 7 times 4 is 28, plus 2 is 30. Okay, so these are my two parts of my products. I need to add these digits together to make sure that I get my final product. Now, I've been doing this a while, so I know how to line up the digits as I go. Yours might be a little sloppy, and you might need to rewrite it over here lining them up just a little bit better, just to make sure that you are adding properly, because this is where kids can tend to go wrong. Okay, either way. Okay, so six plus zero is six, eight plus seven is 15. Ooh, it's high up here, nice landed dude. Six and six is 12, plus one is 13. 8 and 8 is 18, plus 1 is 19, 1 plus 5 is 6, 6 plus 2 is 8, 2 plus 0 is 2, and bring down my 3, 1s, 10s, 100s, comma, 1s, 10s, 100s, comma, 3, million, 289,356, you're welcome. All right, we've come to the practice it section, everybody. So first... For number three, 54,673 times 16, it's written horizontally, but we need to write it vertically. You're going to help me out with this one. 54,673 times my one goes in the tens place, my six goes in the ones place. Boom. Okay. Do I start with the one first or with the six first? The six, because it's in the ones place. 6 times 3 is 18. Carry my 1, bring down my 8. 6 times 7 is 42. 42 plus 1 is 43. My 4 goes on top of the 6, and my 3 goes down below. 6 times 6 is 36. 36 plus 4 is 40. My four goes on top of the four, and my zero comes down. Six times four is 24, plus four is 28. Two, eight, all right. Six times five is 30, plus two is 32, and that is the first part of my, my, my product. Okay, right down here in the ones place, in my second part, I'm going to put a big old zero. Not a big old zero, but, you know, to hold the place. And I'm going to cross out my six. Everybody say, we're done with you, six. And I'm going to get rid of my regroupies up here. Later, regroupies. All right. Now I'm with my one. One times three, three. One times seven is 7, 1 times 6 is 6, 1 times 4 is 4, 1 times 5 is 5. And now what do I do with these two lovely numbers? 
I add them. Add them together. 8 plus 0 is 8. 3 plus 3 is 6. 0 plus 7 is 8 plus 6 is 14, carry my 1, bring down to 4. 1 plus 2 plus 4 is 7, 3 plus 5 is 8. 1 cents, hundred comma, so it's 874,768 is your answer. Woo. Last one for today, party people. Number 4, we've got 21 times 494. Now, right away, you're probably like, uh, there's only two digits here and there are three digits here. What do I do? I thought this one had bigger. Yeah. Um, you could do it like this. However, we do like to have the bigger number first. And because of the commutative property of multiplication, we can switch the order of our factors. So, we could write 490. Four on top and we could write 21 on the bottom and I like it just like that okay do we start with the one or with the two to multiply the one because it's in the ones place one times four is four one times nine is nine one times four is four because 494 times one is 494 what do I put right here to hold the place? A zero. Cross out my one. Get rid of my regroup these, but there's nothing up there. Now two times four is eight. Two times nine is 18. It's a two digit number, so I need to regroup 18. Two times four is eight plus one is nine. Now what, what do I do now? Being kind of jumpy. All right, right, I add them. Four plus zero is four. Nine plus eight is 17, carrying one. One plus four is five. Nine is 10. Oops, so 10,300. Today's B message is to be determined like a boss. Once you set a goal and establish a plan, when you are determined, you don't let anything stop you. So whenever you're working on something, there will be obstacles. There's going to be things that get in your way, but you must overcome them and keep at it. So when you feel like giving up, keep saying, I can, I will, I must do this. All right, y'all, go ahead and be determined like a boss.